Good day, virtual learners. How are you today? I hope that you're all doing great. I'm Sir Abner Ganila, your teacher in TLE 7 Horticulture. Welcome to another fun and exciting session of Valenzuela Live. According to Benjamin Franklin, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. It entails that you need to have a clear plan for your vision in order to know the right decision for accomplishing your mission. Come on, join me to another learning experiences. Our learning competency for today is to interpret irrigation plans and designs. For today's objectives, cite the function of irrigation system, sketch the different designs of an irrigation system, and appreciate the value of design of irrigation system for horticulture. Before we proceed with our discussion, let's have first the significant questions to be answered later. What is the importance of planning and creating the layout of the farm? Got it? I know that you are all excited about our topic for this day. Now let's have a game. This game consists of three levels. I want you to answer the activity for each level in order to get five stars. Ready? Level one, plants versus plants. Direction, you're going to rearrange the jumbled letters to form a word. The description given serves as your guide. Number one, it is a condition in the locality that determines the kind of crops to produce. What is your answer? Yes, climate. Number two, it refers to the terrain of the soil, whether it is on the hill or low land. Very good. Topography. Number three, it is one of the characteristics to consider in choosing the crop group. Example are sand, clay, or loam. Correct, soil. Number four, the quality of being able to be rich or entered. Great, accessibility. Number five, it refers to the distribution and the amount of water for irrigation. Yes, water supply. You're doing great. Let's proceed to the next level. The selection of system of planting depends on the condition and topography of the orchard's location. Plant species to be planted and orchard management practices. Planting systems are also known as layout systems, which are ideal for planting fruit crops. Let's have this activity entitled EMATS over flower. Match the planting system to its picture. Your answer should consist of a letter and number. Example, A1. Are you ready? Correct answer are contour system, correct, A4, hexagonal, yes, B3, square, and absolutely correct, C1. Square system, the simplest and the easiest type of planting system, where trees are planted in four corners that create a square shape. The distance between rows are the same to the distance between plants in the same row. 
Another is the rectangular system. This planting system is somehow like a square. System where trees are planted in four corners, but the distance between rows are more than the distance between plants in the same row that create a rectangular shape. Quincunx system, also known as diagonal system. The quincunx system has been developed to utilize the space between four trees that remains unutilized in the square system. The planting is done like the square system except an additional plant is planted at the center of the square. The main crop is called the primary crop and the filler crop is called secondary or supplementary fruit crop. Triangular system. It is the system of planting where trees are planted in three angles of a triangle which provides a wide space for planting trees. The distance between rows and trees remains the same. The accommodation of the plants is slightly lesser than the square system. Hexagonal system. It is otherwise known as an equilateral triangular system. The planting system which involves six trees planted in the corners of a hexagon. Contour system. The contour is an imaginary line connecting the points of equal height on a slope. This system has been evolved for planting fruit trees on hilly and slope topography with the objective to minimize soil erosion. The trees are planted on the bench terrace prepared on the contour. What are the different steps in creating layout? First, Know the size and type of the land. Second, select the type of crop, distance of plants, and system of planting. Third, create a plan with complete details. Okay, how about the primary function of farm irrigation system? Function of farm irrigation system. Diverting water from the water source. Conveying it to individual fields with the farm. Distributing it with each field. Providing a means of measuring and regulating flows. Okay, let's proceed to the final level of our game. Level 3. Farm Layout Unlocked. In this level, you will have a deep understanding about planting systems. In this row, the row and plant distance is kept similar. Plants are exactly at right angles to each other. Adequate space for intercultivation of renumerative crops like vegetable. What is the answer? Correct, the triangular system. This system is exactly like the square, but one additional tree is planted in the center of each square. The number of plants per acre by this system is almost double than the square system. The answer is... Yes, Queen Kang's system. Accommodate 15% more plants than the square system. Plants are planted at the corner of an equilateral triangle. Six trees are planted, making a hexagon. The answer is hexagonal system. Usually followed in the hilly areas with high slopes, but it is very much similar to the square rectangular system. Bench terraces are used where the slope is greater than 10%. Yes, the answer is contour system. Congratulations, you did it. You passed all the levels. You are now ready to identify what planting system are going to use in planting agricultural crops. At the same time, you have gained knowledge in interpreting farm plants and layout. Here's your five stars.
To test if you fully have understood the lesson, get your notebook and pen and let's have a short quiz. Direction. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer to complete the paragraph. Choose your answer in the box. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to answer. Planning and creating farm layout are important for the future growth of your farm using planting system. We can interpret the farm plans and layout. There are six different types of planting system, square system, rectangular system, queen count system, triangular system, hexagonal system, and contour system. Now let's answer the significant questions that I gave you earlier. What is the importance of planning and creating the layout of the farm? It promotes neatness of the farm. It also helps to maximize the use of labor and other factors of production. Always remember, the layout of the farm must be thought out carefully because it will help farm activities to be done in strategic and systematic way. Congratulations! You did a great job! I'm very much confident that you have developed the most important skills today. Interpret irrigation plans and designs. For your assignment, answer the following activities in your learning module. What's more, what I can do, assessment, page 23. That's all for today. This is Sir Abner leaving you with a quote. Plans are nothing. Planning is everything. By Dwight D. Eisenhower, stay safe and God bless everyone.